This video aims to give you a general overview of how to install the Dualcom DigiAir and DigiAir UDL. Before installation, a signal strength test should have been conducted. The ARC should also be contacted and the unit placed on test. Ensure the aerial is connected, then power up the DigiAir or DigiAir UDL. 9 to 30 volts of DC is required. Wait 1 to 2 minutes for the DigiAir to connect to the network. Once completed, the green signal LED should be on or flashing, indicating an acceptable signal strength. The DigiAir can now be located in a suitable enclosure for the grade of installation, and the aerial can be mounted. Connect the input triggers, then connect the fault output terminals. If you wish to use dial capture for alarm signaling or UDL, connect the A2 and B2 terminals to your panel's PSTN Digi. For UDL to your specific panel, you will need additional software installed by one of our technical account managers. Please email sales at csl-group.com to arrange this. In the meantime, you can complete your installation. For panel-specific programming and compatibility guides, please visit the Installer Zone on the CSL website. For general Digi programming for alarm signalling, you will require a dummy receiver number and chip number programmed into the panel. You can then select the relevant format. Fast format, contact ID or SEER. The DigiAir is supplied with factory default settings, indicated by the red fault LED flashing regularly. The DigiAir will first connect to the Gemini Global Platform and automatically download its operational settings, which may take up to five minutes. Should you need to do this manually, simply press and hold the test button for eight seconds. When the operational settings have been downloaded, the red fault LED will stop flashing. For DigiAir UDL, the blue ready LED will then illuminate. In the case of pin triggering, make sure the panel is in its normal or quiescent state. Then press and hold the Learn button for 5 seconds, until the green signal LED and the yellow communications LED flash alternately. A power-up and registration sequence will follow. For installations using dial capture, no DigiAir configuration is required. It's ready to go. Trigger the control panel or press the Test button. The yellow communications LED indicates comms is in progress. Slow flashing indicates communication in progress, whilst quick flashing indicates acknowledgement from Gemini. If the test signals are not successful, the red fault LED will light for 2-3 to three seconds at the end of the sequence. Thanks for taking the time to review the Dualcom DigiAir installation process. CSL. Connected. Secure. Live.